you know you have been empowered to take back possessions that belong to your father. But to do this, you must first know what area this battle exists in before you attempt to set free those bound in this world. Different areas require different tools. Those entangled in the world battle with desire. Those imprisoned by the flesh battle corruption. But those battling surrounding spirits have been given authority over all of them. Don't mix these because more damage can be done to the imprisoned. You know, you cannot cast out the flesh. Only the enemy and this spiritual realm. Those battling the flesh fight a destructive corruption. These tools are in the Bible and can provide regeneration. You cannot bind the world. This is a system of desire and gratification. This takes renewal of the mind. These are tools provided by the Holy Spirit. But you can bind the strong man and spoil his goods. His goods are your father's treasure. And you are the only physical means of retrieval. Separate the battlegrounds and you will be successful. Isaiah 42:22. But this people are robbed and spoiled. All of them are snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for prey, and none delivers them. They are a spoil, and none says, Restore them. Whom among you will give an ear to this? Who will give attention and hear? Because the time has come. This is a good question, right? Jesus showed you how to do this. He left instructions and the Holy Spirit to walk you through. What are we waiting for? We need to start stepping on things that he has put under his feet. Removing spoils from powers and principalities. Colossians 2.15 Having spoiled principalities and powers, he made an open show of them. By the cross, I would add, he continues triumphing over them in it. So how can you triumph over an earthly authority and power? It is by knowing your authority, who you represent, and who they hear when you speak. These are the spirits of this world. Luke 10, 16. He that hears you hears me. He that despises you despises me. And he that despises me despises him that sent me. These are the principalities and powers you are empowered over by the living word that speaks through you. Verse 17. And seventy men returned to Jesus again and with joy said, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through your name. Verse 18 through 19. And Jesus said to them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And behold, I give you power over all of the enemy, and nothing by any means will hurt you. Two things you've received when Jesus received you to himself. Power to become sons of God and power in his name. John 1.12 To as many that received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believed in his name. How can I be sure I have this access and power and authority in his name? Ephesians 3.12 in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by faith in Him. You know, we are all in this world together, good and evil. 
First, we will retrieve possessions that belong to our Father. Then we will return with Christ to retrieve property. 1 John 5.4 says, Whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. This is food that I provided to my family for years. I want to now share it with you. I hope you'll share it with a friend. If you like it, I'll provide more. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.